What are sterilization standards in plastic surgery? Sterilization standards in plastic surgery are essential for ensuring patient safety. These standards focus on eliminating all microbial life from surgical instruments and materials. This includes bacteria, viruses, fungi, and spores. The goal is to prevent infections during and after surgical procedures. One of the key methods used for sterilization is steam sterilization, also known as autoclaving. This method is preferred for heat-resistant surgical instruments. It uses pressurized steam at high temperatures to kill any microbes effectively. For heat-sensitive instruments, such as silicone or plastic components, low-temperature sterilization methods are used. These include ethylene oxide gas and vaporized hydrogen peroxide. These methods avoid damaging the materials while still ensuring they are sterile. Chemical sterilants are also utilized for heat-sensitive devices. Liquid chemical sterilants like glutaraldehyde and parasitic acid are effective when other methods cannot be used. It is crucial to maintain the right concentration, temperature, and contact time to ensure these methods work effectively. Proper handling and packaging of surgical instruments are vital. Instruments must be thoroughly cleaned before sterilization to remove any organic or inorganic material. This cleaning step is necessary because leftover debris can prevent effective sterilization. After cleaning, instruments are packaged in sterilization pouches or wraps. These pouches allow the sterilant to penetrate while keeping the instrument sterile after processing. It is important that these pouches are single-use and intact. Verification and quality control are also critical components of sterilization standards. Sterilizers undergo routine validation using biological indicators, which are highly resistant bacterial spores. These indicators confirm that sterilization cycles are effective before instruments are used in surgery. Biological indicators must show no valuable spores after sterilization. Chemical indicators must confirm that the instruments were exposed to the correct sterilizing conditions. Material-specific considerations are important as well. For example, while silicone instruments can typically be autoclaved without damage, plastic instruments often requiring cold or chemical sterilization. This is to prevent heat damage and maintain the integrity of the instruments. Compliance with regulatory and professional guidelines is essential in plastic surgery. Sterilization processes must meet standards set by organizations like the Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the Food and Drug Administration. Devices labeled as sterile must undergo stringent validation to ensure they meet required safety standards. Following these sterilization standards is critical in plastic surgery due to the invasive nature of procedures and the use of implants. Proper sterilization helps reduce the risk of surgical site infections and complications. Continuous monitoring and staff training are key to maintaining these standards in clinical practice. Always consult healthcare professionals for personalized medical advice regarding sterilization and safety in plastic surgery.